This video is to help you find and download documents uh, from the Yakomi website, such as the awards templates that I'm sure you are all anxious and ready to use uh, in a very short period of time. Uh, you'll notice I am on Internet Explorer, and it actually works best uh, with SharePoint because they are both Microsoft products. If you are logged into your computer, such as I am, with your email username and password, when you click sign in over here in the upper right hand corner, it will automatically sign you in because you're already logged into the computer and it recognizes that and it will come up with your name. If you are not, you will need to look down here where it gives you a reminder to use your staff username and password and follow the directions here about using your email uh, short name and password to log in. Uh, once you have done that, you can go to schools. And since we are at Yakomi, you will go to Yakomi. And once you're at Yakomi, here on the left-hand side, uh, you will see where it says Documents. And then you will need to click on Share Documents. Now you'll notice there are 1,279 items because I have been busy uploading some items to here. And when I open this up, you will see that we have Language Arts, which contains some Hoot and Mifflin. Uh, there's also some, uh, let's see, well, let me open that back up. Uh, graphic organizers are, are there. Right now, the only Hoot Mifflin in there, I'm sorry, is for sixth grade. I'm trying to get more and more stuff in there. Uh, for science, we have some of the interactive content science readers. And we have the champs documents. Uh, and here is the awards, which you are looking for, I'm sure. So if you click on awards, you'll see a list of the different awards. Uh, you can choose one on a roll. And since you are going to edit, you will need to click Edit, click OK, and it will open it up in Microsoft Word. It will start the automatic opening process. Now, it is possible that it may ask you to enter in your email username and password, uh, and that you'll see that it's asking me for that now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter my short name. I don't have to enter the staff this time. And I'm going to enter in my email password. And I'm going to click OK. And it will finish opening that document up for me. Now, I've already changed the date for this for the 16th of April, uh, 2010. Uh, in the future, you may need to change the date on that, uh, as well as changing the, uh, the name of your, in or inserting the name of your student here. So uh, you'll go in, type in the name of your student, and print this out. You do not need to save it. Just type in their name, make sure the date is correct, and print it out. Enter in the next name, print it out, and so on. Uh, then you close that out, and you are done. And the next time you need an award, you know where they're at.